as women, we've been socialized to believe that we're not enough. We've been socialized to believe that certain fields are not cut out for us. We've been socialized to believe that we, we don't belong in certain jobs. And that's what we've got to work against and, and to, to encourage fellow women to believe in themselves and to believe that all these negative voices are actually just that, negative voices. They don't define who we are or what we can achieve in reality. So, so I think my legacy really is that I can stand up and be counted for doing my best, just only doing my best to be ethical, making whatever little sacrifice I could make. Because if you have integrity in everything you do, you never have to look back because you have nothing to worry about, isn't it? You move forward, you assist people, you don't cut corners and you feel free. As long as the need for change is there, I think that is what motivates us to work towards and even fight for change. And you change not only your own life, if you have the power, you use your power, you use your voice, you use your strength in order to make a difference in the lives of others. I want people to remember me as a very determined person who from the onset knew what she wanted and tried desperately to achieve it, you know, and then having achieved what I was looking for, I made sure I didn't just sit idly. I just proved myself all the time, you know, showing people that it can be done and there's nothing impossible, you know. So I, just... I always say the sky may be said to be the limit, but you, your mental capacity is the limit. So if you believe in yourself, and you are confident of what you are doing, and you don't get distracted. A hardworking woman achieves what she set out to achieve. So I think it's important if somebody has held your hand to make it a point yourself as a professional to look out for the newer judges, the newer professionals, the young women. And I'm particularly passionate about the young women because they tend to be ignored. The, in the cutthroat world that we're in, the young men are fairly more aggressive. And so somebody should look out for the younger women and encourage them that they too can do it. When, you know, I'm also very, very passionate about processes. And sometimes when you focus on discipline and process, people tend to be resistant, especially the younger generation. And because of that, um, some people think I am very, uh, I'm very harsh, I'm very temperamental, but I, I think it's just because of the passion. I want the best in everything. So if you're coming to my court, be prepared so that you come and give me your best.